Gungeon, Nuclear Drone, Forager? What do these games have in common? Well, a lot of things, but one of them is a dynamic camera. A camera that frames the action of the game by being influenced by the position and the distance of the mouse from the player. This is actually that simple to doing Godot, though, so let's do it. Let's go though. This is my player scene and the only node important here is the camera 2D node. There's only a couple of lines we need to make it a dynamic camera, so let's go ahead and add the script. We're gonna need a target distance variable, which is going to be a distance from the player to the point the camera is centered at. We're also gonna need a center post variable, which we will initialize to position, and this is the initial position of the camera before any movement. In the process function, we're gonna write var direction, and we're going to get the direction from the player to the mouse. So it's gonna be center post dot direction to get local mouse position. Then we're gonna get the actual target position that our camera needs to go to. So we're gonna write var target pos equals to center pos plus direction times target distance. We don't have target distance calculated yet, but we will do that shortly. Now all we have to do is assign our target pos to the position of the camera to actually make it move to that new position. Now let's get the target distance, and this is the distance from our center pos, that means the position of the player, to our new position of our dynamic camera. And we're gonna actually do that in the input function and we're gonna check if the event is of type input event mouse motion, that means when the mouse is moved. So we're gonna write target distance is equal to center position dot distance to get local mouse position and divided by two. That means our target distance is going to be at the exact middle point between the player's position and the mouse position. Of course the camera doesn't need to be at the exact middle point between the player and mouse position, it can be somewhere else and you can decide where that is. Ok, so now we have to restrain the movement of the camera so it doesn't go too far away from the player, it has to be tethered to the player in some way. So I'm gonna go back to the top and I'm gonna write a constant variable called max distance and I'm setting it to 48 but of course you can play around with this, this just means 48 pixels away from the player is the maximum distance my camera can go. Now let's go down to our process function and we're gonna write target pos equals target pos dot clamp. And clamp is going to define a minimum and a maximum value our target pos can be. So our minimum value is going to be center pos minus vector 2 with x and y being max distance. And our maximum value is going to be center pos plus vector 2 with x and y being max distance. And that's it for the code, but we have to go back into the inspector of the camera 2D node and set up our camera smoothing. Without this the camera is just going to be too jarring, so smoothing is absolutely necessary. So turn on position smoothing, and for position smoothing speed I recommend some low value, like lower than 5. I'm putting in 2 for example. And that's it, that's the dynamic camera, it's super simple to implement but it makes your game so much better, so if you're making a top down game or a shoot em up, consider implementing it. Thank you for watching.